Uh, a pleasant morning to members of the media and welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service weekly media briefing for Wednesday, 5th February 2020. I am Superintendent Wayne Meister, Public Information Officer of the TTPS. And I also want to welcome on the media briefing today Inspector Wayne Stanley, who is an officer attached to the Special Investigations Unit. We also like to welcome our Facebook viewers, which we are running live as, as we speak. But before we go into Mr. Stanley, I just want to give some information to the public. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service will like to once again advise members of the public to be alert and cautious regarding false information that is spread via social media. False and inaccurate social media posts tend to spread very rapidly as members of the public often forward these stories to their various contacts, which can lead to unnecessary anxiety and panic. Over the past year, the TTPS has had to debunk many cases of false news. Most recently, a social media post concerning Point Lisa's vessel facilities, or fatalities, I should say. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service would like to reiterate the following facts regarding this matter. One, there are zero reports of dead crew members at the Point Lisa's port or any other port in Trinidad and Tobago. Two, the MTM Shanghai is a Singaporean vessel that before docking in Trinidad, its ports of call were Brazil, the USA, and the UK. The vessel's last visit to Asia was in mid-2019. Three, there were no Chinese nationals aboard the MTM Shanghai. Its crew comprised Russian, Ukrainian, and Filipino crewmen. The Trinidad Tobago Police Service is once again advising members of the public to refrain from posting and sharing misleading information that in most cases cause unnecessary panic. There are many reliable and accurate information sources, one of which is the Trinidad Tobago Police Service. Therefore, the public is advised to stay updated with the latest information by using the TTPS app. You can also get accurate information on crime and policing and other matters of national security from our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So thank you very much. That's some information as it relates to fake news. I will now hand you over to Inspector Wayne Stanley, who will give us some pertinent information as it relates to various drugs in Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning again, everybody. Um, as the carnival season is upon us, there's a growing concern about the misuse of illicit drugs and alcohol abuse. Abuse of these substances has a strong negative effect on the brain and the body, impairing judgment and concentration and puts the user at a great risk of sexual assault, robberies, possible kidnapping and road fatalities. Unique combination of feeling a little too drunk and a little too high can be overwhelming for some people. Feeling cross-faded is a combination of the effects of alcohol and how the body absorbs cannabis. Pers person smoking marijuana and, consu and consuming marijuana ed edibles after drinking alcohol have been found to exhibit nausea and vomiting, which is the body, body's number one defense mechanism against alcohol poisoning. In some cases, the user finds it difficult to concentrate and remember things. While in extreme cases, the user is at risk of greening out, which involves panicking, vomiting, and experiencing heightened perform performance impairments. Even though getting cross-faded is not life-threatening, please know your limits. If you feel too high, talk to a friend you can trust. Find a safe place to sit down and definitely drink some water. I repeat, if you, find your, if you feel too high, talk to a friend you can trust about your situation, find a safe place to sit and rest and drink lots of water. This carnival, please do not share drinks. Do not take drinks from strangers and open all cans and bottles yourself. Party goers should be mindful of involuntary induced illicit, illicit drugs. One such common drug is the rufinol, also referred to as rufies, or the date rape drug, which is a sedative that is often given to unsuspecting victims before they are assaulted. Rufinol are depressants used to treat anxiety and sleep dis disorders. These tiny pills are tasteless, odorless, and can be dissolved 
in undetected liquid. Signs that you have been drunk include taking two sips of a drink which makes you feel as, you, as if you had six drinks, loss of muscle control, difficulty communicating with others, and visual disturbances. As a preventative me measure, individuals can purchase test my drink strips. These strips are sold online, Amazon, and so on. These test strips can be used to determine if, you drink, if, your, if your drink has been dropped. These test strips are designed to detect the possible presence of illicit day trip drugs, which are slipped into an unsuspecting victim trip. Steps to take if you suspect someone has been drunk. Stop the victim from drinking any other intoxicants immediately. Get close to the person to help control their movement and secure the individual's belongings. Remove the person from the gathering. Contact immediate family members and inform trusted individuals about the situation. Monitor their state of consciousness and contact the emergency department or take them to the nearest emergency department. Stay with, the, stay with that person until their close relative arrives. Do not allow them to drive. And lastly, if you should see someone at a, a bar or at an event, putting any substance in another person's drink, please make it your duty to inform the person that their drink has been not done. Thank you.